Howdy y'all. We got the Bulldog on the channel. It's 9 o'clock. I'm headed back from my last service call of the day. It wasn't productive. Uh, the AC system on that tractor was just about empty. Uh, they said it worked when they first got it. And the three years before, uh, sucked it down to a vacuum and it held and pulled down to a vacuum pretty good and uh, held well it must have a very small leak so we'll charge it up once and see, see what we got and I dumped the vacuum off into the system with my Freon and Got it about three quarters charged that way, and then I went to fire it up, but the pump never engaged. Well, gosh dang it. I just had another one do almost the same thing where there's plenty of pressure in the system, but electronically it just wouldn't work. Well, I'm check, trying to check the switches inside and all this kind of stuff. Things have been rigged here and rigged there. Of course, with tractors, there's you, know, you have to work on about every day to know all the tricks. Uh, they're a little bit more difficult than cars, just for the simple fact that they're not real standard. And with cars, you've got wiring diagrams and all this kind of stuff available at your fingertips. Uh, with tractors. Uh, those manufacturers, they like to hold on to that stuff. They, don't, they really don't want to give it out since it's not too common. Uh, it's, it's hard to find. I look online all the time. Oh, it, you know, Google's a search engine. It's not an answer engine. You know, Ford New Holland 8340. Did you mean Ford F450? No. Did you mean Ford Escort? No. Did you mean Ford Escape? No. So, it's usually difficult to figure out what the heck you're talking about. Since they try to send these things all to different countries, they don't print what it is on there. They put a picture of it on there. So you gotta kind of figure out what they're talking about there. The tractors come with operator manuals, not service manuals. So they don't tell you anything. But I'm worried about the switches and the stuff up there and all that kind of stuff. And the customer says, yeah, I, it had electrical problems all over the place. That's that's what happened to the motor. What happened to the motor? Well, right after we got it, it uh, blew up. Okay. Did they have to split the tractor? Or did they do an in-frame? Well, I did an in-frame. Well, if they did an in-frame, they probably had to pull that pump off. Wouldn't have had to break the system, but they would have had to pull the pump off the side to pull the head. Oh, yeah, probably. Did it ever work after that? Well, it was winter time. Right after that, uh, it, uh, you know, I didn't. I noticed it didn't work the next year. Well, I went up there to the pump and started messing around. And, you know, that pump's not going to engage if somebody doesn't plug it back in. And well, yeah, I can see why they didn't plug it back in since there's nothing around to plug it into. So now I got to dig around to find out what in the world they did since there's not a plug-in anymore. So that's what tomorrow is going to entail. Wish me luck. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit your little bell notification. Share it around. We'll talk at you later.